Okay, yes. Uh, this is work with uh, Zach Pepin at Michigan who figured out most all of this stuff and I get to tell you about it. Uh, so the topic is uh, algebraic versions of, of LWE. Uh, these are foundation for lots of efficient lattice crypto and they go by various names, ring LWE, module LWE, polynomial, order LWE, middle product LWE. Uh, maybe I missed some rump session talks so maybe there are more by now. Um, and there's a thick web of reductions that support their hardness uh, among the problems themselves and also from worst case problems uh, on algebraically structured lattices. Um, there we go. Uh, so that sounds great, uh, but these reductions are often kind of difficult to understand and use and, uh, and, and interpret um, for the following reasons. One reason is sometimes you end up with several steps between the reductions. Oh, uh oh. Okay, there's the label. Okay, so to get from uh, ring LWE to middle product LWE, you've got to take a bunch of hops and they're spread out across two different papers, and there's a lot of steps within each step. So um, there's complex complexity in there, there's frequently a large blow up and distortion of the error when going from one problem to another, different metrics, uh, there's sometimes even non-uniform advice that you need. So in this paper, uh, we try to bring some order and clarity to this uh, situation. Um, we give one parameterized problem that covers all the proposed algebraic LWEs uh, that have been in the literature uh, that have de been defined over commutative rings. And uh, we give very unified and simplified and tighter reductions among these kinds of problems. Um, they all have nice, easy to analyze effects on the error distribution. Sometimes they don't change the error at all, which is nice, error preserving. Um, so a couple of example theorems that we get. Uh, you can prove that ring LWE in essentially, uh, Essentially any ring reduces to uh, middle product LWE with an error growth that's the, the spectral norm of these powers of a certain uh, element in the original ring. And what's nice about this uh, is, is reproving but with tighter bounds and more simple uh, proof, uh, a theorem which says that in order to break middle product LWE, you have to be able to break ring LWE in, in all rings uh, subject to this, uh, this, this constraint here. So that, that gives a very nice uh, strength to middle product LWE. And then there's a second theorem which relates uh, ring LWE to module LWE. Uh, I won't go into the details of it, but it's, uh, it's also there. Okay, so it would be like, it's very late, people have been drinking, it'd be very cruel of me to, to go into the algebra uh, of all this stuff. So let's go into the algebra of all this stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'll just define the unified problem, it's, it's, it's actually Pretty, pretty cute and, and simple. So just take a number field and take any lattice in the number field that's, that's full rank that you want. And uh, there's an object here which is not terribly well known, but if you dig through the, the certain textbooks, it'll show up. There's a thing called the coefficient ring of the lattice L. Um, and it's just all the elements in the number field by which L is closed under multiplication. So pretty simple definition. It can be defined as an annihilator uh, of L or something like that. And it turns out easy to prove that it has this form where these little v's are duals. Okay. So uh, the, um, this LLWE problem that we define is as follows. It's concerned with um, a secret from L dual and uh, random a's drawn from the associated coefficient ring of L. And then you get s times a with some noise. And it's modded by q times L dual. Okay. And uh, that's the problem. And you can check that that's well defined, uh, but basically the point is that this specializes to all those other um, ring order module LWE that you want by just as uh, assigning L appropriately. Okay? And you can get other versions by taking other Ls of interest. Uh, okay, so I just have a few seconds. Whoop. Oh, they gave me the old slides. Okay, uh, too bad. So there's a couple theorems. Um, one theorem is that you can go from uh, for any order and a suborder, you can just reduce from the order to a suborder. Um, the error doesn't change, nothing changes. It's like a half page proof that just uses a, a natural bijection between the order and the suborder mod Q. And, uh, and then the second theorem relates to, I'll just go back to the summary of that theorem. Uh, yeah, so notable theorem number one says that you can go from ring LWE to uh, middle product LWE. Okay, I'm out of time. Thank you.